Hi, everyone, and welcome to this tutorial brought to you by ReliaStream.com and ReliaWebHosting.com. My name is Ray, and today we're going to talk about how to install your Radio Flash pop-out player. We're going to do it by steps. We're going to try to simplify it to make it easier for you. If you don't have an understanding of it, please feel free to contact us. Uh, I will let you know that we do have an installation service that you can use. Um, it's not that expensive. We'll install it for you if necessary. But we figured we would give you the opportunity to be able to install it yourself. And if you can't figure it out, we're here to help you. So let's start by installing our files. Now, when you uh, download or you purchase your Flash Player from ReliantWebHosting.com, you're going to get um, you're going to get some files from us that is that are your radio uh, your radio Flash Player files. Now the first thing you have to remember is you have to get those files from your desktop or your computer and you have to get them to your web server because that's the most important thing. If they're not on your web server, your Flash Player, well, it just won't work. So uh, what I did is I opened up uh, FileZilla FTP and on the left hand side you're going to see your local computer which is where your files reside right now after downloading it from ReliaStream.com and on the right side you're going to see what your web hosting uh, account is. And if you notice, on our web hosting account, we have a folder called Radio. Now, you can create a folder on your public underscore HTML uh, directory and right-click, um, once you get inside a directory, right-click and you can create a directory and name it Radio and click OK and it'll open up an empty, it'll create an empty folder for you. So once you get that folder open, what you're going to do is you're going to um, take the files from, you're going to open up the folder that you you received from ReliaStream and you're going to transfer those files from your local computer by clicking the top and clicking the bottom and uh, shift clicking and then right clicking and clicking upload and that's going to upload all your files to your web host. Now the next thing to do is to um, edit your radio XML file. Now you're going to uh, right click on your radio XML file on your web server and uh, click view and edit and then hit OK and you're going to have this file open up. Now once this file opens up, the most important thing that we're worried about right here um, in this file is where it says Earl 173192.48.97 and the port number which is going to be your radio station uh, address. Okay. Now once you get that done, what you're going to do is you're going to go back to your website and you're going to type in your web address forward slash radio and you'll see something that looks like this, okay? And if it's working properly and your web and your web your your radio IP address is correct, your radio player is going to start playing, okay? So that's the first part. Now we got the radio player working on the index.html file and that's what you're looking at here is the index.html file, okay? So the next thing we want to do is we want to go look at the index.html file and we'll do that um, by going into our FTP and right clicking on index.html inside your radio folder. We'll click view, OK, um, and then we're going to see a bunch of code. Now if you're not HTML savvy and you don't understand anything, I'm going to explain it to you the really easy way. Um, we have some JavaScript here and, and some embed code here and I'm going to show you what you need to change and what you don't need to change. The very first thing you need to change that you need to make sure is right is the size of your window and you'll see width and height here. Um, your width is going to be the width of your player and the height the height of your player so when someone clicks on it it's going to give you a, a width of 315 and a height of 100 okay and the only other thing or two more things that you need to uh, change here is also the width and the height of your uh, player in the code here and then in the very bottom and this is really super important your index.html file is looking for your flash player and your flash player is named shoutcast.swf which resides on my server under radio forward slash shoutcast.swf if that is not there it will not work so make sure you edit this file and then you're going to close it and FileZilla FTP will ask you if you want to upload it you click OK and then that is going to make the changes to the index.html file that you need Last but most importantly is how are your users going to connect to that HTML file and make it a pop-up window? Well, I'm going to show you. Um, 
when you go to your web page you see this big uh, this big image here on our on the template that I'm designing um, how to get this image and how to make it pop into this window well <clears throat> this is the last and final step and it's it's actually not that hard and we're going to include these files with your player so that you guys so that it makes it much easier for you uh, to install your player okay so we're going to look at this this code right here okay and that code looks like this okay now what this code is is it's telling you what website you're on it tells you to on click when someone clicks that that image to open up the window that goes to demo July 2nd which this is really not that important to you which is really important to you is your folder and where the index.html file is okay so when someone clicks on it it goes to demo July 2nd radio index.html and it pops it out at a width of 340 by 130 okay you can play with the sizes it's not going to hurt the code and the next and the most important thing is um, the the images the image that people are going to click on now mine happens to be an images stories play button dot uh, PNG now if we go back to the web page and we click on right click on our image and do inspect element you'll notice this is the exact image demo July image stories play button dot PNG and then you have the height the width and the height if we go back to our code you also see the same thing 200 width 257 height if you change all these files which is your index.html your radio XML mainly your IP address over here and your port number and you install this code which I'm going to include with your uh, your download uh, if you do this code and make the changes to um, this directory on this and this directory here for your images uh, your player should work perfectly um, with no problem at all if you have any questions problems or comments please feel free email me hit me um, hit me up on uh, the live chat at reliawebhosting.com I can give you advice we also do offer an installation service if you really just don't want to mess with any of this uh, I can come in and install it with uh, install it for you in about 15 minutes so um, that's it for now. Um, if you have any questions, problems, comments, feel free give us a uh, you know, give us a holler. Uh, also remember that we have Rely Web Hosting, which can host your website, which makes it much easier for us to get in and be able to help you with your website or whatever the case may be. Again, my name is Ray for RelyWebHosting.com, and this was the tutorial to show you how to install your pop-out flash player. Thanks for listening.